my name is Matthew Wayne Selznick, and this is Sonatotem, episode 89. Hello, my friends, on this and every episode of Sonatotem, we talk about making stuff, mostly writing, finding success as we each define it for ourselves, and staying healthy and sane in the process. Who am I to be talking to you about such things? Well, I've been an independent creator, mostly an author, but also a musician, podcaster, so on and so forth, since, uh, gosh the turn of the century, I guess you could say. And uh, if this is your first time listening to Sonatotem, this is a little different. I'm really just dropping in here because uh, the show comes out every two weeks and it's been two weeks and I need to put out a show. But this is not the show that I had planned. Episode 89, this episode of Sonatotem, which by the way, it's being recorded on Wednesday night, June 28th. 2023 in the lush and lavish studios of MWS Media in Huntington Beach, California. This episode of Sonatotem, episode 89, was supposed to be a conversation with Deborah Parmley, the author, Deborah Parmley. That will be coming your way in two weeks. I'm in the middle of uh, editing it, but uh, yeah, I gotta tell you, gang, part of staying healthy and sane is knowing when to... uh, to just give it a fucking break. <laughs> I just didn't have it in me to finish the episode. I didn't have it in me in terms of energy, in terms of time, time that I could prioritize for the podcast, that is. And just other stuff had to come first. In my household, my partner is recovering from a surgery. Everything went fine. Everything's great. But if you've had surgery... There's, uh, there's some pain after the fact and some tender love and care that has to happen. And um, it's just a week and a day since the surgery. And she's been home just a week. And so, yeah, that's been the focus for the first few days, pretty much uh, around the clock, attending to whatever she might need, pain medications and, and changing ice packs and things like that. And, um, up until about two days ago, I was running on mm, an average of about three hours of sleep a night. And um, just there were other responsibilities as well, you know, trying as best as I could to keep up with my day job. I am a creative services provider. I have clients who are authors and podcasters and speakers and artists, and I help them with their creative endeavors bringing those things to fruition and to market and to an audience. And I'm a freelancer, so it means I have many masters. And all those folks needed to be attended to on three hours of sleep while also making my partner the number one priority. So, yeah, uh, mixing down and editing an hour and 40 minute conversation with Deborah Parmley, which was lovely, by the way. It happened back in January and it's a great talk and you're really going to enjoy it when it finally does come out. Editing something like that down takes hmm, about 12 hours from pressing record to delivering the final episode, final produced episode to you. That's 12 hours I did not have these last two weeks between getting ready for the surgery and everything. You know what? I just didn't have the time. Sorry. (laughs) And so I did, however, want to just drop in and say hi and let you know I'm here. You know, it was just last episode that I announced that Sonatotem would be going to a two-week schedule and that we would really only be focusing in this show on my conversations with uh, other authors and other creators and doing that every two weeks. But uh, here we are. It's two weeks and I'm sorry, it's just not happening. Not this, uh, not this time around. In fact, I ended up waiting until the end of the day to do this recording to you because I just had this shit to do, man. And yeah, this show takes time and I'm committed to it, but uh, 
I'm committed to showing up doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the same thing every week or I'm going to be able to always uh, keep my promises as far as what's going to happen episode to episode. And you know what? I could I could work that into some sort of pithy uh, object lesson about the creative life and uh, balancing uh, real life and everyday responsibilities. But I'm telling you, folks, I'm just too fucking tired. So that's it. This is uh, Sauna Totem, episode 89. I would like to thank, as always, my member patrons, my multiversalists. They are the community of patrons who contribute at least $5 a month to support this show and my other creative endeavors. And again, this show takes time and it takes effort to produce. This episode may not be the best example of that. Listen to any of the others in the last year or so. You know, I looked at the last 11 episodes because I've been tracking my time on those episodes. And roughly speaking, those 11 episodes were half interview shows and half solo shows. And those 11 episodes, all told, took me 80 hours. That's an average of mm, about 7 hours and 20 minutes per episode. So, yeah, basically two weeks worth of a full-time job in addition to, you know, my other job, my real job. And let's not even talk about finding time to actually write something. So my multiversalist patrons, which you could become one, by the way, uh, just go to mattselznick.com slash b-a-patron. My multiversalist patrons... They help offset the cost in all senses of the word that it takes to do this show. Those folks are Chuck Anderson, Amy Bowen, J.C. Hutchins, and Ted Leonhardt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those are multiversalist patrons who contribute at least $5 a month. They get the uncut, unedited edition of this podcast every episode. They get anything that I create in electronic form. They get first look at works in progress and anything else I can think of to provide for them as a window into my creative process. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm out of steam. (laughs) It's going to take some time to even, even this little under 10 minute episode it's going to take an hour or so to get it all together and get it out to you i'm going to do that tomorrow because i would like to uh go see how she's doing and maybe watch some bad tv before i collapse and fall asleep my name is matthew wayne selznick take care (laughs) 